Welcome back, puppy pattern people. Today we're gonna make one of these cute berets that my adorable niece is modeling. Look how cute she is, totally in the Parisian holiday spirit. Just look at her, so cute. <laughs> This pattern is available on my Etsy shop. You will find all of the instructions, the written tutorial, as well as illustrations inside that pattern. I used a woven fabric, kind of like a, a fleece style flat fabric, uh, just a regular lining fabric and interfacing. I'll put a link in the description for the interfacing I used. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's definitely one of my favorites that I've found so far. It is a fusible interfacing, which I prefer. The pieces I'm assembling here, this is just the headband piece that I fused together with the self-fashion fabric. I do the same thing with the bottom of the beret top part. Um, there's two of those pieces, so I put interfacing on both pieces. Make sure you're doing a mirror image of it and you're not putting the facing on the wrong side. This is the beret top that I'm putting the fusible interfacing on. And then we're gonna go ahead and get our, wee! <laughs> we're gonna get our headband put together. So I do right sides facing of the lining and the fashion fabric. Get that stitched down and always press your seams. It really levels up your sewing in such a good way. With right sides together, we're gonna sew the headband together. And you're gonna notice that the lining is ever so slightly smaller than the fashion fabric. And that is done on purpose. The, as you see right here, I kind of fold it around, press, press, press everything. But when you fold it over, the fashion fabric hides that lining really nicely and it just looks really good. So you don't see the lining when you're wearing the hat. You can also use the same fabric, the fashion fabric, for the lining. You don't have to use a different fabric like I did for the headband. For your bottom beret, the top of the bottom of the beret, I don't know how to say that, sew those side seams together and do the same with the lining. That's my favorite, just swing it on over the sewing machine. Um, get yourself a rolly chair, <laughs> they're my favorite. <laughs> with the right sides facing again, you're gonna sew the top to the bottom and just sew all around. I use about half inch seam allowance on the majority of my seams. Um, if there's discrepancies, I write it in my tutorials that are included with the pattern. I also like to serge for this step. It's no, by no means necessary. I just like to do it. Leave a one to two inch opening. I forgot to do that as you see me <laughs> seam ripping to the lining only. And then I like to top stitch the seam allowance towards the bottom of the hat and kind of top stitch along that. And then we take our tab Stitch right down that that seat, side seam, trim your seam allowance, and I, there are so many ways to do this, but this is the way that I wanted to do it. You pull the tab right side out, and then I just tied those two strings together. That just made the most sense to me, trim the excess off. And then I did a blanket stitch on the tab. Um, like I said, there's so many ways to do this. And if you need a s slowed down version of this, let me know in the comments, um, or you can keep replaying. I also have a really illustrated, descriptive portion in the instructions on my pattern on how to do a blanket stitch. Um, but yeah, it's, I love it. Works great. Boop, boop. <laughs> And then we're gonna fold the beret in quarters and just pin the center of the hat where you're going to stitch down the tab. You do this before you add the lining so all of these hand stitches are hidden essentially and yeah, you just do a little knot. Carry on. Snip, snip. Now we, again, kind of find those four equal distant parts 
your center back of your headband and you do not want lining up with the side seams of the beret bottom. Just follow where I was pointing on the video or look at the instructions for a clear visual on where to put the center back on your beret top. And it's important to have the correct sides touching, the right sides facing each other. Um, I've done this before and sewn it inside out, so just learn from my mistakes. You want to take that seam you just did, sandwich that hat into the lining. So essentially the right side of the lining is facing the right side of the lining of the headband and the top. Wow, that is very confusing. Just keep rewatching the video because it's so hard to describe. Sew that together. And if you remember that two inch opening on your lining, this is the time where you pull all of that through and it's like magic. All that sandwiching <laughs> came out and poof. Stitch that two inch opening closed. I just used a straight stitch on my sewing machine. You can do it by hand if you want. And I like to kind of just roll out those seams. Add a couple tacks to the corners, about four tacks per corner makes sense. And give it a little knot, a little tug. Kind of keeps the lining from floating around on you. And if you want to, you can give it a good steam, a good press, and it's ready to go. It's ready for your model. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Subscribe, like, and we'll see you in the next one.